All right. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Um, I'm Ted. <laughs> Welcome back to my stream. It's been a minute. It's been almost a month. Um, so that's too bad. <laughs> it's been kind of busy. I've been working a lot on Wednesdays, which is when I usually do these video game streams, but I figure uh, I might as well do one uh, here on Friday night because this is a pretty easy one. Justice League Training Academy. It was a Flash player game available, I believe, on Cartoon Network uh, back in the day. And um, a couple months ago, I played some other DCAU Flash player games, including like Batman Crime Wave and... Um, Batman Ice Age, there are a couple other ones, and I um, uploaded all the files to website. You can download them all yourself. It is, uh, I believe it is tinyurl.com slash DCAU games. Um, I will also post that link here in the comments um, just so you all have access to it. Um, DCAU games. All right, here we go. Yeah, and so uh, y'all feel free to download that and uh, play this one on your own <laughs> when you after you're done watching me. Of course, I'm gonna struggle my way through it too. Um, but yeah, I appreciate everyone tuning in. It looks like um, there's a handful of people here today. We have Gohan six four six. Hello and happy birthday to your mom yesterday. <laughs> happy belated birthday. It was my birthday uh, on Tuesday, actually on the twenty eighth. I turned thirty, which is crazy. That's a, that's a big round number. Um, hey, Thomas Wayne. Hello, Genesis. Uh, well, who else we got? We got um, Sly Mike. Sup? <laughs> um, One Normally Impulsive says, OMG, I remember those games. Wonder Woman was the hardest for me. I don't think Wonder Woman's an option for this. Um, I'm going to be playing as Superman, Hawk Girl, and Green Arrow. So... If there's a Wonder Woman one, let me know. There, you might be thinking of a different Flash player game because there were some Wonder Woman centric ones. Um, there were a couple other Justice League ones too. Aiden Vaughn, never heard of this game yet. It's a, it's a pretty. I mean, it's not obscure necessarily, but it's Flash player, so um, you know, it's not a Game Boy or it's like not a major console game or anything. Which, speaking of that, I got a Switch uh, recently, so um, I might be sharing my my player ID code or something on social media. Uh, soon, once I get it really set up. Um, right now, I only have like Mario Kart and uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild and uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag. So it's not a whole lot, um, but I would love to play online with some some of y'all. You know, if you catch me on there or something. All right. Um, anyway, so yeah. Speaking of my birthday, I want to show this off real quick. Um, appreciate the happy birthday uh, remarks, Penguin, but pink, pink penguin. Um, so this, I'm just gonna pull this up on screen really quickly and let it cover me. Uh, this was some original artwork that James and Maddie commissioned Dan Reba to draw for me. This is Dr. Manhattan from uh, all of our story videos here on the Watchtower database, uh, done in the Batman anime series style by Dan Reba, who is a, a very prolific director on the series. You all know Dan from, from our Watchtower database interviews. Um, but I thought this was the coolest piece of artwork and obviously the best birthday present I could have received. Um, it was super cool. Uh, this is, you know, the character I depict that's a very, uh, very obviously a play on Dr. Manhattan. But this is, uh, I am Ted and I'm a man in a hat, uh, but I'm just as cosmic, you know. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I wanted to share that off because uh, it's really cool. <laughs> um, hope you all enjoy it too. All right, back to me by Dr. Manhattan. <laughs> okay, I'm actually getting ready to play the character again next week. Um, I'm gonna be going up to Oregon and filming some Watchtower database stuff for um, for some upcoming videos. So there's a little tease there too. Yay, um, sweet. So uh, besides that, what else can I talk to y'all about? Um, you know, make sure you're watching our coverage on the Batman The Adventures Continue and Justice League Infinity. There's a lot of cool, um, I mean, you know, new issues are coming out all the time. Ooh, you know what? I just realized I didn't plug my power cord in for my laptop. I'm going to do that real quick because uh, otherwise I could die on you. I've got it right here next to me. Sorry about that. I thought I was all prepped and ready to go. Um, but yeah. So we've got the coverage. Let me know in the comments if you're reading a series, because you should. They're awesome. If you're a fan of the DCAU at all, those are for you. Those are your comics. All right, hold on, I'll be back in like 10 seconds. All right. <laughs> 
<laughs> we have power. <laughs> Sorry about that. Cool. Um, or I thought we did. There it goes. Sweet. Yeah. Um, oops. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Watch those videos on Justice League Infinity and Batman Adventures Continue. Um, I've got one I'm working on right now that is all about some Batman Beyond villains. Uh, but I'll tell you more about that after I start playing some video games, which I'll jump to in just a second. I got one more cool thing I want to share. Um, I recently found this stuff on, uh, um, well, Maddie, first of all, was looking up these, um, exclusive Best Western, like, the hotel chain, um, Batman Superman Adventures comic books. We don't know if it's original com content or just reprints. I think it's a reprint of the Batman Adventures number 25, which has that sort of out of continuity Superman team up. Um, but in 1998, they, uh... Put out a bunch of merch at Best Western Hotels, and I shared a couple images earlier today on the um, Watchtower Database Instagram page, but I wanted to show it off here too. So this is a sippy cup. I'll hold it so the camera says, uh, Summer Adventures. Um, in this early DCU style, you see there's like this, you know, 90s Aquaman with like a different version of Wonder Woman. And then of course, regular Superman, the MA series Superman and TNBA Batman. The Flash, like he appeared in Speed Demons, and Steel from uh, Heavy Metal. So um, a lot of those, uh, those four were definitely in the cartoons, but these two were newbies. And then um, on the other side of the cup here, we have their backsides, which I thought was really cool. Um, so I, yeah, I like this cup a lot. Uh, glad to have gotten it off the internet. Um, I think it is very cool. There's other stuff that came inside it which I will also show you. Inside the cup, we have things, what's, what's the coolest thing? Some of the stuff you, you probably don't care about. Um, all right, so here. There's a coupon book with TNBA Batman on it. And then on the back side, just Wonder Woman, Flash, Superman. So nothing too crazy in there, but there's like some interesting coupons in here for things like Batman Sub-Zero and VHS or um, these like super balancing toys that came with like the Kraft Mac and Cheese stuff. It's the same artwork that were on the uh, Kraft Mac and Cheese boxes if you're familiar with that. Um, the Superman Batman Activity Center computer games. I played those when I was a kid. It was really cool. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hey, uh, Michael uh, Guitarez, I believe that's your name. It's my birthday. And welcome to the stream. Also, good morning, uh, Rich, Re, Rev, Revanchus. <laughs> I think I said that right. Um, okay, last coupon I'll show off here. This is like just a special like subscription offer from some comic books, but it's got some animated stuff going on there too. But yeah, um, a lot. Some I got two more things from this package. There's this um, AT and T five minute phone uh, phone call card. Back when you had to have these like special cards to make phone calls at a hotel. Um, but this has a uh, Kyle Rayner, 90s Kyle Rayner in a DCAU sort of style. And uh, I just think that's super cool. Yeah. Uh, and the last thing from this eBay purchase is this Fujifilm camera. So this, uh, kind of the same images that you've seen um, on this side. Um, I don't know if you can really see it. Maybe there you can see steel. Um, uh, this is very hard to to put it in the camera the right way. Uh, there we go. Um, so yeah, Steel from Superman the May series is over there. Then on the other side, this is the main reason why I got this whole thing, is because there are these early animated versions of Fire and Ice, who you might know from Justice League Unlimited and Justice League International comics. So I thought it was really cool. Like, I've never seen these versions of Fire and Ice, like, anywhere before. Um, like, in this, like, early DCAU style. So yeah, um, that's basically it. If you want to see some more, you know, if you want to see those again, I posted some images on Instagram earlier today. So they're there. Oh, here's one more thing, I guess. This is like a, a scratch, like uh, Six Flags over, uh, some Six Flags theme park, like some scratch game, but it's got, you know, some other cool images with that same uh, Aquaman again. So basically the same stuff as the cup. Cool. Just wanted to show that off because you are the you're the audience that would appreciate that kind of thing. You know? I'll show the cup one more time before I put it away. 
<laughs> love this cup with all that really like you know the aquaman and wonder woman that never appeared in a cartoon and then their backsides <laughs> one more time awesome all right but yeah super cool um so uh let's jump into the game i think without further ado i think it's time to play Okay. So, first, uh, I'm gonna play Superman, Just League Training Academy. And I'm using a program here called L Media Player. It's, um, it's a free program, but it plays um, SWF files, which are Shockwave Flash Player files. Um, I posted the link earlier in the stream. If you wanna download these games for yourself, they're available on uh, tinyurl.com slash dcaugames. Just testing the audio levels. Yeah. Alright, we sound alright. Not so bad. Okay, um, let's play. Let's see how this goes. Alright, Training Academy, Superman. Alright, Superman, can you repel the hordes of target robots? Press spacebar to punch and the arrows to move. Alright. Level 1 beat 10 robots. I can do that. Oh, and dodge the things falling down. Alright, got one. Two. Three. It's four robots. I feel like the move is like, I don't want to go too fast off the screen or else I might run right into a robot and that'll hurt me a lot. Okay, sweet. Level two would be 20 robots. Oh, there we go. Oh man, that guy took two punches. These big gray ones are harder. Do we recognize these robots from anything? Like, they're not Brainiac robots. They're not Zetas. Oh. I'm sure that. This is a Justice League game. Like, it came out during Justice League Unlimited, so... It looks a lot more like the Superman anime series style, though. There's a Star Labs building in the background. stuff. Oh no. Just, there we go. Okay, level three. Got full health again. Fine with that. is kind of a lot, you know? I'm also gonna sit up slightly. That's a little better for me. So how's everyone doing tonight? It's Friday night. I think this might be the latest I've done one of these streams in a long time. Usually I'm kind of more in the afternoon. But I just got done doing like two, it took me two months to play Batman Rise of Sin Tzu on Game Boy Color, or sorry, Game Boy Advance. So I kind of was like, I'll just boot this up and do a, a nice easy one today. That'll just be a one and done. Cause then um, I'm gonna be out of town next week for going James and Maddie on some videos. Some really very exciting stuff on the way. Now that I have my Switch, I think I'm gonna start streaming um, DCU online every now and then. I downloaded that 
and so I'm not gonna start it today or even this week, but I might just start doing like a recurring DCU online. If anybody else here in the comments plays that, let me know um, what you think about it. I know it's been going on for, you know, probably almost 10 years now. Um, but I, I played it like a while ago, like right when it came out for PS3. But now I've got it on the Switch. And uh, I'm very curious about getting back into it. Oh no. The health bar makes no sense to me. It really doesn't. Like, it's at like zero. It looks like it's zero right now, but I'm sure. Yeah, now it's like yellow, so. It. It must just be glitching out a little bit. The way these files are, it's like pretty good, but not perfect. They can glitch out a little bit. more powers than just punching this is oh no I died well okay um you know what I don't feel the needs oh I mean I'd love to beat it I don't know how many levels there are though I'm really curious now I wonder if I can just look that up <laughs> I'm gonna look that up real quick and see if it's something that I can actually possibly beat because <laughs> if it just goes on forever, um, maybe I should just move on to the next one. Mm. I think it's one of those things that you inevitably just die at some point. That's kind of what it seems like. Okay. Whatever. Um, I'll do I'll do one more attempt. I'll do at least two attempts for each hero. Okay. But I'm gonna read some comments first. So yeah, okay, um Penguin says the DCU online is so fun, you always start over because of character creation, so yeah, that's cool. I'll have to choose wisely the first time, but And Nick, Nick Sorensen, has finally started to purchase the DCU shows for his Amazon Digital Streaming Library. Awesome. Planning to wait until after uh, Estas Blu-ray comes out to follow up with Justice League and Batman Beyond. Yeah, that is a good call. Um, Superman the Amy series is great. That's honestly, it's always been one of my favorites. But yeah, I'll give this one one more try and see how far I can go before I move on. I have definitely pre-ordered my Superman the Man series Blu-ray, and uh, that should be on its way pretty soon. I mean, it comes out at the end of October, so. But I, I have the rest of the DCAU on Blu-ray, and some of the, um, I don't have the entire, like, DC, you know, original animated movies line on Blu-ray, but I have, like, I have my favorites, so, but I do have most of it digitally, like I can watch it in my, um, my Voodoo library, or moviesanywhere.com, I use that one too, to access that. Then of course you can stream almost, I believe all of the DCAU, I could be wrong. Oh, not Zeta Project, um, but it's all up on HBO Max as well, so. Maybe not all the movies. But <laughs> the way he flies is so funny. It's like, that's usually not how Superman flies. It's a little crouchy. His head goes down, he's just ducking a little bit. It's 
because I can't fly up. I can only fly left and right. Just left, right, and punch. shouldn't move very far, I should just let him come to me. I think that's safest. Move like a little bit. Oh no! <laughs> my my pinky finger hit a weird button. Uh oh! I glitched it all out with that. All right, let me see if I can stop the chaos. Oh my god! Yeah. Wow. Who knew the shift button would do that if you just hit it slightly? <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Well, that means I'm gonna play it one more time. It gets one more for me. Hello, Alex Lemons. Welcome. The gang is all here now. Scarlet, we won. Hello, hello. making a bunch of robots, whoever these robots are. Tell me in the comments, whose robots do you think they are? I mean, the obvious answer is Brainiac, I guess, but like, judging by the shape of them, they're kind of like spinny top shaped, kind of. Or like, they look like uh, the ones from Doctor Who, maybe a little bit, where there's called like Daleks or something. Let's fan fiction this. People in the comments, who do you think, who do you think sending all these robots are right now? Star Labs? Yeah, maybe Star Labs. It could have come from Star Labs. And this is Justice League, so maybe Hamilton is like up to something? Because he's still around after Cadmus. that's an option, the way they're spinning like that. they start appearing a little more frequently because I feel like a lot of it right now is just kind of waiting for them to pop up. Any long time uh, followers of my stream will be happy to know I'm about to purchase a new laptop <laughs> and I think it'll fix a little bit of the um, 
the lag issues I've been having lately, so it doesn't seem like it's affecting the stream today too badly, maybe a little bit, but um, just know I am working on it, and I think um, I think just upgrading my tech is going to help a lot. I'm going for a 2020 MacBook Air. I'm just stuck on the Apple train. I'd love to build my own PC, but the parts right now are so expensive. I figure I'm just going to spend about like a little less than what I would to build my own computer and know that like all my parts are already there and I'll have to build it. So that's my plan. But I've had this thing I'm using right now for 10 years. <laughs> this is, or almost 10 years, it's 2012, maybe 13. All right, so eight years, 2013. For that poison ivy video well you'll be happy to learn it is on the way that is one of the ones we're working on next week actually <laughs> i'm glad scarlet that you're excited about my laptop purchase i am too it's gonna help these uh streams get a lot smoother and i was saying earlier um i don't know if you were in um the chat for this, but I am probably going to start streaming some DC Universe Online, because I, I have it for the Switch now, and uh, I might just, like, pop in at random times, like, nights like these, you know, and just, like, play a little bit of DCU Online. Um, yeah, and in a couple days, I'll probably share on social media and Twitter and stuff, um, and Instagram. I'll post on the Watchtower database handle. But uh, I'll share my Switch friend code if anybody wants to friend me and play like some Mario Kart or Super Smash Brothers or something. If you ever see I'm online, feel free to, to invite me to a match or something. That'd be fun. Alright, level 5. This is the furthest I've gotten. 50 robots. Here we go. If I can beat level 5, I'll be happy. That was kind of my goal. So... big red ones now. They're getting serious, I guess. Well, zapped by that one. way. I guess those red ones are kind of explosive too.
Oh no, 65 robots. Who has time for 65 robots? Oh no, oh, I didn't even see that thing falling down. That was dumb. died. I'm still a trainee. Oh, that's a global rank. I don't know. There's not a globe. Alright. So, I died. <laughs> Superman's head disappears for some frames? Oh, I didn't even notice that. I wonder if that's uh, a stream thing, but hopefully not. Alright, moving on. New character. That was Superman. Let's see what Hawk Girl's thing is. Okay. Hawk Girl. How long can you ride on the wind? Press space bar as fast as possible to launch and up and down to fly higher and lower. Avoid these swirly robots. All right. Um, glide 2,500 yards, okay. Sure. Oh, I have to tap the space bar, okay. I've already met the goal, so that's cool. Well, Alright, that makes sense. Fly 3,000 yards. Beware the robots. Job avoiding them though. Now I've already met my goal, so that's good. Go further if I can. Oh no! I hit the robot. Oh, it's time to land anyway. All right, 3,500 yards. I can do that. I just more than that. Just a second. is really cool on this one, Nick Swartzen. Sorensen, <laughs> sorry. Nick Swartzen is a comedian. Said your name wrong. Alright. Come on, faster, hot girl, faster, faster, faster. Ooh, ran to that guy. Oh, I'm running into a lot of them this time. That's 
third one up hit. Fourth. Wow. A lot of robots. Oh no, I'm not gonna make it. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna make it. I didn't make it. Alright, I'm gonna play again now. Like I said, I'm always gonna give it at least two. Alright, glide 2,500 yards. Let's see. that I was trying to do like a, a I'm gonna try it this time let's see if I can do like a running jump sort of like down sweep thing let's see oh no <laughs> that was not nearly yeah okay once you hit the ground you kind of just stay there all right another try like all speed doing that somehow. There we go. That's better. Okay. up again yeah you gotta keep tapping up okay one more for hot girl I feel like she deserves one more one more thing out. Right into the robot. I was kind of more concerned about keeping her in the air than I am about the robots. But I should be concerned about both. I just want to just want to test it.
There's a rhythm to it. Once you kind of get it, you can go a lot faster. Uh, but that's it. That's it for me. But I hit the goal, so. Level four. <laughs> well, let's say as I run into all the robots. Oh, come on. You're almost there, Hawk Girl. There you go. Shira! Hey, Miss Martian. that robot flying a little too low too oh no yeah i didn't make it oh well all right moving on let's do green arrow last one here all right so green arrow hone your shooting skills at the target range drag the mouse to set the angle and the power of your shot okay and again, um, I've said this earlier in the stream, but if you want to play these games yourself, go to tinyurl.com slash dcaugames. I have all the files there for download. All right. Let's see. So, okay. Um, there's that. And then, okay, I pull. Okay, I can kind of go up and down and, like, pull with more intensity. I think you get... Okay, I have five arrows. I'm going to try 25 degrees. Like, pretty intense. Oh, wow. No way. Oh, that's good. Oh, man. All right. I'll take it. I'll take it. That was just a good guess. All right. Let's do that again. Because it's in the same place. I have five arrows. Okay, so this one, I'm going to do same intensity... Well, actually a little less intensity and a slightly lower angle. Let's try this. Oh man, okay. Alright. Let's see if I can, what happens if I do the exact same. Okay, that's not the exact same. It's a little more powerful, but... Ah, oh, I'd overshot it, that's why, okay. Alright, this one I'll do exactly the same way. I shouldn't have messed with perfection the first time. Alright, this is the same one. Oh, a little lower, a little lower, okay. Okay, I'm gonna do the same intensity, but I'm gonna try a slightly lower angle. Just barely though. Like 24 degrees. Or 23. Let's try this. Let's see what happens. Still on target. That was better though. I learned. Okay. Good. Alright, not a bad score though. I have to hit it three times out of my five arrows though. try about 10 but I'm gonna go a lot harder with it. I'm gonna I'll do I'll do 15 degrees at like this level. Okay way too short. I need it to go higher. Let's try 30. 30 at medium. 
Oh, wow. Bullseye. All right. Let's do that again, Green Arrow. I'm gonna just do the exact same one. 30, medium, boom. Oh, a little low, a little low. Okay, still not bad. I just gotta hit it one more time, though. I've got two arrows, so that's good. Man, I can't believe I got Bullseye there. That was awesome. All right. Just 30 degrees, a little more intense. Let's try that. Oh, don't overshoot. Oh, no. All right, I have to make it on this one. I have to. what I did the first time. Yes. Another bullseye. They call it double's eye? I think I just call it bullseye. Alright, another three. You wear the robot this time. Great. Oh, it's moving. Okay. Alright, well, I'm gonna try another 30 degrees at about the same level. Let's see where... Okay, a little, a little high. Um, that means it needs to be a little less intense, but, but that was pretty close. Okay, let's try it like that. Oh, it's still too high. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna aim a little lower. Let's do 20 degrees. I like maybe. another 20, but I'm going to go a lot harder with it. I think I've already messed up my level anyway. Oh, man, that was close. That was actually really close. If I had done, like, a little lower, actually. Let's try this. Barely, barely missed it. Alright, well, I'm gonna do it again. Oh, hold on. Well, should hit the zoom button actually. Zoom button, see what happens. That's what I thought. Okay, so I did 10 that time. If I do a little, a little more than 10, let's try 15. We'll also go kind of intense with it. All right. Let me do 15 again. Wait, no, I'm not. I'm gonna go a little higher than 15. Do 20. Pretty intense, yeah. Ooh, that was almost too high. Okay, okay. I still hit it. This time, try about 18 and do it like that. 17, that's cool. Oh man, a little low. Very tricky one, but I only had to hit it twice for that, and I did, so I got to Oh no, I just wasted an arrow. Oh, that's awful. Oh, that's embarrassing. Okay. This is the one last time I did that 30 degree one and nailed the bullseye, so I'm just gonna try that again.
Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, 20 was a good... Yeah. Let's try that. Nope. Too weak. I'm gonna play again. <laughs> I'll just keep on trying. My goal is level five. I've said it before. It's still my goal. Let's try that. Okay. How did that do? Yeah, it needs to be a little higher than ten. Let's try fifteen. Like a little less than sixteen. Oh, closer. Counts. I hit it. Oh man. Hmm. Let's do this, Green Arrow. That's better. I get to move on. if it went full throttle on it, but like, if, let's try that again, because that's where I thought I was, but yeah, nope, okay. So, uh, let's not do that, Green Arrow. where I want it. Oh, almost. So close again. get three arrows so I don't get to move on but I like that bullseye all right again this first one I just like to go blind let's go 15 and medium nope what happened with that almost okay oh closer because you only have to hit one. So. But I hit it twice. Oh, yeah. No, this is uh, basically DCAU uh, Angry Birds. Oh, man, that was the same, uh, same stats. I missed it that time. Okay. Well, whatever. I move on.
20 max speed. Let's see what happens. Oh, I overshot it by a little bit. 20 might have been a good way to go, though. Let's try 20 again, but a little, a little less intense. I think I'm moving on. That means I get to do it again in a second. That was just for fun. Okay. <laughs> now you know why you never played Angry Birds, Miss Martian. Yeah, Angry Birds, it is what it is. You just gotta aim the just gotta aim it and shoot. Fifteen medium? Nope. Okay, yeah, just needs. Let's try 15, but like all the way power. I'll take it. I hit it. So that means if I go all the way power and I hit about 18. Oh, it's still too high. So let's try all the way power and 16. Boom. That's a bullseye. That's what I like to see. Okay. It's pretty far. I'm gonna do all the way power at 20, see what happens. Ooh, actually pretty close. If I'd done a little lower. Okay. Let's try all the way at 18. Nice. All the way at 17. Do that one again. I'm moving on. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try all 18, or I'm gonna try like 19, but a little less intense. Let's see if I can do that. three times and there's a robot involved now, so yeah, we're not as far. But I think I'm gonna do 18 all the way here. See what happens. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I like it when it's uh when it's right. Nice, that's a bullseye. Yeah, I've gotten good at this. I figured this out now. Oh, yeah. Another bullseye. Ooh, barely almost didn't hit that robot. Nice. Gonna wait for it to start going back up. I'll take it. That was a really good one. 18 all the way is the way to go. That's what it seems like. Alright. Um, gotta just hit the bullseye. One of these has to hit the bullseye. I'm just gonna try another 18 all the way since that... Okay, there are two robots now. Oh, 18 all the way! Look at that! And I hit the bullseye. Cool. Or I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. 
This time, I'm gonna be a little crazy and try 19 all the way. Hmm. I'm gonna be even crazier and try 19 not all the way, just almost all the way. the robot. Ugh. Yes. Oh, that's a bullseye. All right, I made it. I hit the mark. Oh, yeah. Another hit the bullseye thing. All right. so again, 18 all the way. That seems to be the magic number to start with. Sounds like I'm ordering a burger. What's the number 18 all the way? Okay. 18 was a good angle, but all the way was a little too powerful. So let's do 18. Oh yeah. Oh, is it a bullseye? Yeah! <laughs> Moving on again. Okay, sweet. Alright, um, so that was essentially 18 with two white ones at the bottom. There we go. Nice. Skinny Zack films. Do I like Lego? I do like Lego. I've got the Lego DC Super Villains game on my Switch now. I downloaded that. So that's one I'm hoping to uh, stream eventually as well. Um, I was doing the Lego Batman 3 on my Xbox 360. I need to finish that at some point. I almost booted that one up today. Oh, did I miscalculate that? Oh, is this Lego Bat Family video? Oh, you you made one, Skinny Zack. That's cool. Is it um a video essay about the Lego movie? Bat Family stuff, or um, is it a narrative thing you made? Uh, I'll take it. That's points. Alright, going to level 6. Hit the bullseye three times. Oh my god. I don't know if I can do that. I mean, I could try. Okay, so... 18 all the way, right? That's what we do. Ooh, okay. This time I'm gonna... Mm, yeah, I'm gonna do 18 again, because I like this angle. Oh, just barely under. I only have three arrows left, and they all have to be bullseyes for me to go. Try changing it up slightly. 18 there almost had it. So if I do 15 with like a, or 16, 17 with a little more punch, let's try this. Oh, yes! Oh, that doesn't count as a bullseye though. It's like in the yellow, but I don't think it counts. Yeah, I'm not moving on. But that's okay. This has been a good round. Alright, last shot. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, a little high. Alright. Well, that was fun. I'll take it. Alright, everybody. I think that's it for, for today.
Okay. Fun stuff, though. Um, thanks for tuning in and watching me play these Flash Player games at Justice League Training Academy. Um, I've said this a couple times on the streams already, but uh, if you want to play them yourself, you can go to tinyurl.com slash DCAU games. Um, I've got all the files, um, actually a bunch of DCAU games, Flash Player games are available to download there um, that I put up uh, myself. So you can go um, download that, play the Justice League Training Academy on your own. Um, the L Media Player is the uh, program I used to play that tonight. But yeah, I appreciate everyone for, uh, tuning in. This is not my normal uh, time to stream, but I haven't had a chance to this last couple weeks. Uh, I might start doing DCU online streams pretty randomly as well whenever I have the time. Um, so be on the lookout for that uh, probably soon. Next week, um, I won't be streaming because I'll be in Oregon with James and Maddie um, filming a couple of story videos for the Watchtower database. Some really exciting stuff um, that'll be coming out near the end of the year. Um, some stuff you've all been waiting on for a while too. So we are excited to finally be getting together for the first time, um, the three of us in one the, in the same room since uh, since before COVID. You know, so um, yeah, we're we're looking forward to that a lot. But yeah, um, thanks again, everybody. By Scar Lowy, Skinny Zach Films. Um, yeah, you're all good. I mean, you know, um, find me, uh, Skinny Zach, if you want to message me the, uh, your video, you can find me on Instagram. Um, I'm on Twitter. Um, I'm on the places I'd, I'd watch. You know, you can hit up my DMs. I'll check out what you got. <laughs> so, um, sweet, everybody. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to play next. Um, I, I've actually, you know what? I believe we said superman countdown to apocalypse for the playstation 2 that's the one everyone voted on at the end of uh, batman rise of Sinzu for game boy advance so i think that's what we're gonna do but i'm gonna wait till my laptop my new laptop comes in um before i start doing these uh console streams just because i think it's gonna be uh, a lot better if i have some solid computing power behind them so that's why i jumped on and did a flash player game tonight so yeah um I'll let you know when that happens. Um, it'll be, you know, maybe maybe two weeks from now, two or three. Um, but I'll be back for sure. So, yeah. Uh, in the meantime, keep an eye out on the Watchtower database for, you know, random announcements of this kind of thing. And uh, be on the lookout for our next video on Sunday, which is um, our coverage on Batman The Adventures Continue Season 2, number four, um, which art by, uh, ooh, I don't want to say his name wrong. Um, Last name's Gibson. <laughs> I think it's Justin Gibson. Um, his art is amazing. Read the issue if you haven't already. And uh, Justice League Infinity number three, which was our, our most recent video coverage. Um, but yeah, I'm currently working on a Batman Beyond focused script for my next video essay um, that's essentially looking at all the different Batman Beyond villains and their counterparts that Bruce Wayne fought in his heyday. So like, uh, for instance, Blight, um, Batman Beyond villain, but he is very much based off Dr. Phosphorus, which was a um, Batman comics villain uh, that modern day Bruce Wayne uh, fought in his youth. So um, I'm going to be kind of looking at every single Batman Beyond villain and bringing it back to um, a similar character that Bruce Wayne fought. Either a similar character or like a character like Spellbinder who also who has roots in like Batman comic books from the 60s and 70s and he was uh he appeared in the Batman cartoon show so stuff like that yeah um it'll be kind of a yeah uh Blight's Batman Beyond's arch nemesis that is correct skinny that films I would say that as well although um you know ink gives him a run for his money um not maybe not a nemesis though i'd say as far as batman beyond season one goes blight was definitely the, the main nemesis and that's kind of a shame he didn't come back for season two or three um even though he has come back in the comic books and they they do treat him uh a bit like a nemesis so i'll be looking at um all sorts of batman beyond content and bringing it back to uh modern day bruce wayne it's not going to be a video of how would bruce wayne fight the batman beyond villain like how would he fight ink well, we saw that in the episode of Disappearing Ink, first of all. And second, that's way too speculative. I'm just kind of digging into the history of the characters, looking, you know, taking their, like, the visual appearance of Blight and turning it, you know, into Dr. Phosphorus. So it should still be pretty interesting. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, um, I, I've, I've already said bye a couple times. I'm going to go for real. <laughs> Y'all have a good rest of your night and good weekend. 
and uh, see you in a couple weeks. Be on the lookout on that Watchtower database social media stuff because there's going to be some exciting things happening the next couple weeks, and I'm sure we'll be sharing behind the scenes pictures and, and stuff as we're doing our filming. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. So, yeah, I will talk to you all soon and uh, see you next time. Bye.